out of my way. Where's Spence? He's coming. He's up for us to hold the fire until the whole gang gets on the street. We'll try and catch him in the crossfire. Now you men split up. Take both sides of the street and keep out of sight. How hard you get on the roof, keep your head down. All right, let's go. Only a couple of seconds. Fellas out there with rifles. Are you all right? Yeah, let's get out of here. What's the matter with you? Spence said wait until they're on the street. I'm not taking orders from Spence.
I should have stopped you. I should have stopped you. Fifteen minutes after the Dalton's arrival in Coffeyville, five townsmen had been killed, many were seriously wounded. Bob and Grant Dalton, Dick Broadwell, and Bill Powers were dead. Emmett Dalton was the only survivor of the gang, but he was believed to be dying. After the Dalton gang fell in the streets of Coffeyville, the curious had grimly gathered to view the bodies of the once notorious outlaw band. It wasn't until then that Ransom Payne arrived. Mister, what happened here? It's the Daltons. 
They rode in this morning. Sure cost them. Across the town, too. Emmett Dalton. Was he with them? Lucky if he lives through the night. Doctor's tending him over the saloon. some pain. You're too late. stays there. It won't if we stay in Coffeeville. I had a hand in wiping out the Daltons. That's all folks around here are going to remember. Now word will spread that Will Spence is in Coffeeville. There'll be men coming off the plains to try me. That'd hold true no matter where we went. People who have to bear the past, bury it. They do it. You think we can? We have to. Yeah. Well, I better go get Adam. You know, this place needs work. Welcome home, Mrs. Spence. Will and Betty Spence stayed to live out their lives in Coffeeville. After Coffeeville, Ransom Payne continued his search for the lawless until his name faded from the pages of history, as did Daisy's. Emmett Dalton survived his wounds and was sentenced to life imprisonment. Ironically, it was the citizens of Coffeeville, instigated by the untiring efforts of Julia Johnson, who petitioned the government for his freedom. After serving 14 years, Emmett Dalton was granted a full pardon by President Theodore Roosevelt. Julia Johnson was waiting for him. He died in Los Angeles, California, on July 13th, 1937. 65 years old, he was the last of the Daltons. <laughs>